So we're just going to review a multi-step problem in integers. So you can copy this question down. I have positive 3 plus negative 2 minus positive 4 minus negative 1. So there's a couple of things to look at when you're solving these problems. First of all, you need to figure out what sign you're moving and what direction you're going to, sorry, what sign you're facing and what direction you're going to be moving. Anytime you are decreasing, you are moving to the left. And every time you are increasing, you are moving to the right or facing the right as well. So the first part is we look at the first sign, which is positive 3. So I am now standing at positive 3. Now I'm going to be adding, so which means I'm going to be facing the right, but I take two steps back from where I am. So which means I am, my little man is over here, and he's facing the right. And then he takes two steps back. So now his new position is over here. Then our next one is he is facing the negative direction. So he turns around. So he's facing the negative direction and he moves forward in that negative direction four steps. One, two, three, four which basically means he has gone down four steps. So now my man has moved over to negative three. Okay, the last step here, we have another minus. So which means he's still facing the left, but he's gonna take a step backwards when he's facing to the left. So this minus sign means he's facing to the left, and then this minus sign means he's taking a step backwards from where he was, which really means he's moving in the positive direction. So our man, he ends up at negative 2. Oops. Negative 2. So that's our final answer. We could try to solve this problem another way by removing our double signs and moving into single signs only. We do remember from before that anything that is positive stays positive. So positive 3 becomes 3. This positive 4 just becomes 4. All the other signs will just keep the same for now. So I have 3 plus negative 2 minus 4 minus negative 1. So let's combine these signs. As we remember in the last one, when we're facing forwards but we move backwards, we are really moving backwards. This stays the same. This one means we are facing backwards, but moving backwards really means that we're moving forwards. Recall that a minus minus makes a plus. So now if we take our number line again, we start at 3, we subtract 2, brings us to 1. We subtract another 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we add 1, which means we go back, and we end up at the same answer, negative 2. So there's slightly different ways to approach the problem. However you like to look at the problem, just remember you can always use the number line to help solve what way you're facing and how many steps you're going to be moving and in what direction. So tomorrow we'll be looking at a couple of examples of these multi-step ones. So just as a quick review, two positives still make a positive. When you're adding a negative, this means you're facing forwards but walking backwards, so it's really a negative. And a negative, subtracting a positive, we saw that a positive, you could just drop the positive sign, and it's the same as a negative. Or think of it as you're facing backwards, but you're moving forwards in the backwards direction, which is still a minus. And the last one is, if you're subtracting a negative, it means it's like you're facing backwards, but then you're walking backwards, which means that you're actually moving forwards. So I hope you get this. If you don't understand it, then make sure you ask some questions tomorrow. Hope you get it.